the most ever by a college basketball team. They flipped the coin. Oklahoma won it. They will wear the home whites. And so Arizona in the red and numerals on the blue jersey. They have possession and shot at it number 32 with the game's first field goal. Back at the other end before you can wink an eye. Oklahoma's first miss and the Wildcats come back. Greg McMillan into Elliott's hand. No delay game here, Brent. Both teams going to go after each other offensively right off the bat. Man to man, great matchups. Off the fake, McMillan. Short. Oh, it's Seeger rebounding for OU. And down comes Grace into King's hands. And up over the top was Cook. The game's first foul is called. The Oklahoma players want goaltending on that shot. They're not going to get it. Cook came over. He's the leading shot blocker in Pac-10 history. Stacy King at the free throw line, Billy. And what did he do just before the opening tap? <laughs> he went around and shook hands with all three officials. I've never seen an individual player do that. I had a little conversation with one of them. And he gets and he on the free throw line well, first. Now wait, that's, that's a little strong, Brent. And he missed both times but he runs it down and he gives Oklahoma an opportunity. Colbert really bodying him inside Stacy King. Was Harvey Grant's jump shot on the money. Are you sure that wasn't Robert McAdoo? That's what Jerry West said to me before the game. He said if that's not Robert McAdoo I don't know who it is. What a look-alike he is. He smiles more than McAdoo and that's about the only difference. Now Steve Kerr the point man in the Cook's hands. And they get it back to Kerr, who signals the play. He's the quarterback of this fine Arizona basketball team. Cook an inside man. Grant comes out with him. Now they shift to Tolbert. King is there on his back, and Blaylock helping. Kerr bangs up a miss, and Tolbert with an offensive rebound. Nice thinking by Tolbert. Now Cook, through the key, gets the roll. What is Coach Billy Tuck's philosophy in this game, Billy? Well, he's going to push the ball up and down the floor as much as he can. Injury right here is Sean Elliott. Knee brace has come loose, and he's going to wrap it back. He injured that knee playing high school soccer. And at the time, many of you in the Tucson area know the story. The doctor told him he would never be able to play competitive sports. Not only has he played, but the Pro Scouts drool over his talent. That's how good he is. Luki Blaylock misses, and Tolbert gets to the glass for Arizona. Arizona wins zone first time in the game so far. They will change up their defenses a lot, so you have to be alert. Here's a big matchup. Can Seeger stay with Elliott? Tolbert over King, short. King rebounds again. Now it's Grace, the amazing Grace, and Mookie Blaylock over there. They come fully equipped with nicknames, this bunch from Norman, Oklahoma, and do they have talent. Look at Tolbert's knee. He's putting it right on Stacy King's upper thigh, and that's how he's pushing him out an extra step. See that knee in there? Here comes King. He's tough on blocks when he gets it there. Now, if, if I'm Stacy King, I go right to the referee and I say, hey, tell him to keep that knee out of there. He's pushing. You see how he's pushing him out of the way? Long pass after the turnover, and Elliott jams it. The best way to beat this press is to go over the top of it, and that's what Arizona's got the ability to do with great passes. Lou Delson asking his Gumbies to sit down for a short time. Grace missing. Grant with an offensive rebound. Kerr battling for it. Goes to the floor. Comes up with the ball. Good hands by Cook. Everybody on this Arizona club can catch the ball very, very well. First final four appearance for Arizona. Cook the ball in, and King met him solidly, his first personal. But this game really hasn't gotten a flow to it yet. You can see both clubs kind of feeling each other out in regard to the great athletic ability we're seeing here. And the first substitution comes off the Arizona bench. That's Joe Turner, the 6'7 senior from Bakersfield, California. And Tolbert will go over for a word with the coaches. Tolbert did not want to come out. Had a monster game against the University of North Carolina. But he had the monster after he came out of the game. He went over and sat alongside Lute Olson. And Lute said to him, Tom, do you really want to go to Kansas City? Do you want it badly enough? The rest is history. He exploded against J.R. Reed in the second half. 
Dave Seeger, the team leader for Oklahoma, down in the corner. Seeger's three was an air ball. McMillan battling, and it winds up in Turner's hands. Seeger hounding Elliott. Elliott great off the dribble. But one of the things that Elliott does, as well as any big guy I've seen, matter of fact, I've got it. I've got to think of Magic Johnson when I think of him at that size. He can penetrate, not draw the charge, and either go in and score or make the great pass. And there haven't been many that have come along in basketball that can do it as well. Gracious first personal, two team fouls here on Oklahoma. Burr down in the corner. McMillan. Burr popping back on the outside. You can see Oklahoma's not going to give Kerr the three-point shot. Mookie Blaylock staying with him out there. They get inside, and it's knocked away from Turner, trying to get it back. He traveled. Good quick hands by Grant and Turner. Now it's OU's ball. Billy, how do these two guards compare, by the way? Blaylock and Grace now with the ball. Well, offensively, they're very similar. Grace can go on the drive better than Mookie Blaylock. Defensively, Grace a little bit more solid, but Blaylock with a great stealing ability. Seeger missing, only one shot and out. Elliott gets to the glass. Going to that three a little early, not pounding it down inside the King. I think that's what they're going to have to do here. Arizona has built a five-point advantage. They get it inside to Cook on the quick turnaround. I don't see how the Arizona kids are picking up the defensive signals against a team that pushes it up court so well. King muscling in. So tough there in the paint area when he gets the pass. Well, that's where I think they ought to attack. Go down inside for a while. Let King establish something inside. Now OU goes to that pressure defense. Well, you know what they do? Elliott is bringing up the ball sure. even more than Kerr. They do not want Mookie Blaylock to take a shot at Kerr. A big change in the strategy by Lou Olson in Arizona here in the early minutes. Very smart because that puts Kerr down in the shooting range. Steps out for the three. Now, as Cook got the ball, he traveled, he slipped, and it is turned over. Blaylock is truly hounding Kerr as Tolbert returns for Arizona. But I go back to your graphic, Bill. Stamina in this game. Well, you got to figure this game's going to be up in the in the 90s, maybe even in the hundreds. So, you know, any given possession is not as important as it was in the first game. Now they go back to the 2-3 zone with Tolbert in the middle. You know, fans are familiar with Georgetown and John Thompson. He'll wear you out defensively. Billy Tubbs likes to wear you out offensively. He likes to keep coming. Blaylock off the fake. Not there. Kerr went for the rebound. Blaylock what a gets it for OU. He's a great offensive rebounder for his size. There's another and He's got one. it again. Twice down there for Oklahoma. Another JC transfer who's come in. Grant's open there at the baseline. Missed this time. King can't handle it. Ball goes out of bounds, and the two officials down there confer. Paul Hausman out of Salem, Virginia, is our referee. Joe Forty and Louis Grillo are the two umpires. We've got a timeout in Kansas City. Larry Brown went hard after Blaylock, and so Grace said, I better call Mookie, because oh. I sure don't want to play against that kind of a, a thief as he makes a steal, and Seeger's got a field goal as the result of it. On your cue, Billy. Yep. Blaylock's hands are so quick. Now what Arizona's going to try to do is throw over the top of it. And now it's Grace's turn. Two quick steals. First Blaylock and then Grace. Big mistake by Arizona. They've got to throw over the top of that, not with a bounce pass. There's the long over the head pass. Tolbert wrap around Cook. Lou Olson will do some talking to his people because with McMillan in his size and Elliott in his size, they can throw over those small guards. Two-three zone. Tober trying to beat King to the spot. King's wrap around a little too hard with the left hand. I think you're really smart when you first catch the ball against Oklahoma. Don't dribble. Catch it. See the court. Then look to make a play. You put it on the floor and you play into their hands. Nice backdoor cut. And Kerr sealed up inside, and Oklahoma gets the turnover. The defense now starting to turn up the pressure here for the Sooners. And Kerr with less turnovers than games played. That's his one for the game, Brent. Back to man-to-man -man goes Arizona. They change that defense. 
Grant, a little flat, but in it goes. A great shooter from there. His brother, his twin brother, Horace Grant, plays with alongside Michael Jordan with the Chicago Bulls. They both started out at Clemson. And McMillan misfiring with a three over everything with the air ball. They want King on the inside against the double team. He just kept muscling. Grant, each game that I see King play, he becomes more of a monster inside. Elliott comes back, and we go seesawing as again the lead changes hands here. Elliott laboring a little bit going back down court. With the left hand, Grace missing, and Seeger banging into McMillan commits his first personal. That is the third team foul on Oklahoma. There's one team foul on Arizona here. 12 minute mark of the first half. Arizona up by a point. Two scores have carried the burden so far for the Wildcats. Elliott with six and Cook with seven. Brent Lofty comes in again. Now he has quickness. And but in effect, he plays down on the floor to Grace and Mookie Blaylock. So they may go right after him. You know, Lute Olsen has a little speed over there on the bench in the backcourt. Don't be surprised if we see some of it here soon. A fresh man. Tolbert on a jump pass, and Lofton is in. I didn't realize he was even out yep. on the floor, Billy. Just you came mentioned in. him. Tolbert putting it down, and he traveled. You can see the respect the Arizona players have for the great shot blocking ability of King and Grant that time. That is six turnovers committed by Arizona already in this game. That is something to watch. They normally are way below that. They change their zone again to a 1-1-3. One, one, Blaylock with great quickness coming on the inside, and the foul is called. Olsen can't be happy about that. He thought the ball was being lost off the dribble. But Brent, there was no need for Lofton to reach in on that. He already had Blaylock at a disadvantage. He'd lost his dribble and was falling. Just want to move your feet a little bit there. King looking for a potential lob pass here. Lofton goes against Blaylock, and King now off the glass, banks in the field goal, his third here of the first half. Lofton dribbling away from the pressure, but still on the other side of the timeline. He traveled, they've turned it over again against Oklahoma. Brent, you cannot put the ball on the floor. You have to throw over the press. I talked to Coach Ivo before the game, and he said, Billy, the key against the press is to get the ball as rapidly as possible, as simple as possible, over half court into shooting position. And that's what Arizona is not doing. Isn't that amazing? We're at the 11-minute mark here of the first half. And Billy Tubbs, who just keeps coming. Arizona. Elliott quickly returns. And Joe Turner back two. Second time down for Tolbert. McMillan sitting because he's not shooting very well. He's been a basically a season long slump. But it really hurts when he's out of the game because you don't have a good passer to go over the top of the zone or the press. Inside to King. Missing. And Blaylock is there again with still another offensive rebound. That's his third offensive rebound, his first field goal. There's the long pass into Lofton hands. Quickly to Elliott now. They attack the pressure, and Sean Elliott hits the field goal. What a pull up. This may turn out to be an Elliott against Stacey King offensive blowout. Down the baseline, into the hands of King. I'm not sure they know what to do right now with Mookie Blaylock's speed. Well, he's going through the zone or man-to-man. -man. Against Great. the trap into Elliott's hands, and he'll put it down. Mookie Blaylock, he just covers the floor. You know, when they go pressing, he doesn't worry about a man. He's just looking to pick something off. Now, baseline, it's Elliott. Stacey King kind of out of position that time. No help for Elliott on the baseline. Great start by Sean. He hits his first five field goal attempts. The lob. King turned around on the right side. Turner came up with him and fouled him. 
And one of the things, Brent, that Lou Dawson's got to start thinking about, they're playing behind Stacey King no matter what the defense is. And when he gets it in that low post position, he's playing bigger than the 6'10 that he is. And he's so soft with those turnaround jump shots. This guy was second team all oh, big game. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I mean, he's, he may not be second team all rookie NBA. Forget about big eight. Although they've had a great year with a super group of seniors. Here's a young man who was academically ineligible. And the next time he got his grades, he was on the Dean's list. That's when they knew that Stacy King was here to stay. Oklahoma 20 and Arizona 17. You know, Billy, so far only two of the Arizona starters have scored. Cook is perfect, three of three. Elliott, five of five. As they come up against the pressure, all five of the OU starters are on the scoreboard. Much more balanced now for Tubbs' team at the start of this semifinal game. I will show you exactly what's transpiring. Seeger out hounding Kerr right now. Mason has come off the bench for his first look. Oklahoma goes into a little zone of their own. Nice move by Tolbert. Misses. Misses. And it winds up in Seeger's hands. Reed Olsen was upset with that because you can't attack the zone any better than they did on that, on that time down the floor. They put Elliott playing King. Switch back. They double up quickly with Cook coming over to help Tolbert. Now they rotate the ball around and Grace is firing underneath. Grant misses the tap in. Oklahoma again still can't get it to fall. Oh, look. oh that was not a foul. That was not a foul. Mookie Blaylock is incredible. He was hiding behind the trees. He, what he has, Brent, he has such great, great hand-eye coordination. He'd be a heck of a boxer. Now watch him hide behind the trees. Watch his eyes. Boom, that's my ball. Let's go the other way. I didn't think it was a foul. Well, the official was shielded there by a body and probably didn't get a good look at it. Here's the zone now. Lute Olsen probably a little surprised at this early on. Nice coaching move by Billy Tubbs. Tolbert, a good perimeter shooter. Reminds me a little bit of a right-handed Dave Pound. The intensity he plays with. There's a turnover by Oklahoma. Only their third on that traveling call. They lead it by a point here at the 826 mark. Billy Tubbs came over to me yesterday at the shoot around and he said, I really wanted to just roll the balls out of the locker room because that's what the writers say all I do anyway, is just roll them out for these athletes. Now they're wrong about that one if anybody <laughs> thinks that way because he is a great, great coach. Was it Lamar and certainly has been at Oklahoma. And Kerr was short with that three pointer. Stacey King keeping that defender on his back. Boy, he provides a great target inside. King. Short, but runs it down. Out hustled Arizona that time and scored two of his 12 points as a result of it. When Arizona's making a mistake as to where they're putting their people against this press, they've got to put them farther down the court so they can get a better passing angle to go over the press. The closer they stay to each other, the tougher it is to get it over. Blocked by Stacy King. Grace quickly to Blaylock. Blaylock waits now for the attack and Seeger. He hits it, three-pointer. That's their first after five misses. They go for the steal, but the foul is called. Again, the spacing against the press is very poor on the part of Arizona. Duke hustled back into it, trailed by three, but then the Jayhawks pulled away. Quickly, Mason comes to the attack for Arizona. They are down by six at the 7-18 mark. It is 25 to 19 right now, Oklahoma. Elliott wanted it over here, a three-point land. Missed up over the top. It goes to Oklahoma. Terrence Mullins, a freshman from San Francisco, on the floor. He wears number 24. You can pick him out there on the far side. He has a red knee brace there. There he is handling the ball now. Mullins inside to King. Shorts up on a blocks. And it's offensive 
foul. That'll stop him. Two against King. I guess Stacey King's probably wondering, Brent, why he shook hands with that particular official. Huh? <laughs> you know what I love about him? No, you notice how he gets right back down on the defensive end of the floor, which is, again, one of the great coaching traits of Billy Tubbs. Is getting back on defense, uh, they're just great at it. Enormous pressure. They're going to wear down some of these Arizona players, you would think. They stay with that 1-2-2 two, two zone. Kerr can't get open for the three. Elliott short into the hands of Grant. Oklahoma on the move again. Here's Grant. And he drew the foul as he came up with his shot. And Mason, you have to wonder why he went out and just made an automatic foul. Now, as Grant comes up to the free throw line, we can see that still another substitute. There is a person who put on a show yesterday. Andre Wiley hit a dunk yesterday and a dunk exhibition that I've never seen. He took three ball boys right underneath the hoop where he is right there. He lined them up and he jumped over all three. Now, take a look at what Billy Packer was telling you. Facial qualities, how they resemble Bob McAdoo. And, and, and when you get a look at him from behind during this game, you'll see the same form. McAdoo he played, of course, collegiately at North Carolina before going to the pros. And interestingly, grew up in Greensboro, North Carolina, the same place that Danny Manning grew up. So a pretty fertile territory there. King out, Brent. Maybe Arizona try to go inside a little more. They don't have to worry about his shot blocking ability, although Wiley can get up. Curse three. Perhaps hurried because of that intense defensive pressure Oklahoma has exerted here. The general. And Mookie Blaylock into Wiley's hands. That is his fifth offensive rebound. They just trap Kerr in the corner. And he traveled. Lute Olsen uses a timeout. He's fallen behind this surge by the Sooners by 10 points. Mookie Blaylock made 10 steals for Coach Billy Tubbs against Centenary in a game in which the Sooners exploded for 152 points. And this team, coached by Tubbs, has 38 Big 8 and Oklahoma records already to its credit this year. And Billy, this is an enormously impressive start by this team. It really is, and, and Brent, I think that Arizona will adjust more to Oklahoma, because Oklahoma's going to play one way, and now Arizona's got to figure out how to get back in. They start out in their 1-1-3 zone. They brought McMillan back in, so Luke Olsen is gone with his starters. Grant on the run. Some offensive player, isn't he? And they go to trap. Quickly, Arizona to the attack. Grant got Not a hand a bad on defender. <laughs> Hogan was open momentarily. Mookie Blaylock again. He's just looking around, looking for a place to steal the ball. Kind of hides behind everybody. They whip it to Kerr for the three. Elliott. Alone in there, and the defense stops him. Now Grace sets the table for the center. Blaylock looks in. Mullins can shoot that three-pointer. He's got great range. Wiley wants it down on the blocks. They extend that zone out because you have to worry about the three-point shooting range. Grant tried to save it. They've turned it over to Arizona. This is a 13-2 run by the Sooners here in the first half, and it has put them ahead 31-19. their press a little bit. Quickly, they get the ball into Elliott's hands. If you see what it does, that press takes you completely out of your half-court offense. Elliott's tray up on top, and it goes over to Oklahoma. Now, what's happening right now is that Oklahoma's press has taken Arizona completely out of their half-court offense. Once they beat the press, if they don't have a layup, they've got to pull it back off and start running their half-court. And Arizona has missed its last eight field goals during that time frame. Into Wiley, who came up. Cook has the ball now for the Wildcats. Big possession right here for Arizona. Gets some semblance 
of an offense going. Same thing happened to Duke in the first game. They got hung up in the other team's game. And Billy Tubbs has stayed with his zone because it's been very effective. Billy, I'll tell you, against this defense, this speed, it's survival out there sometimes. You've just got to get it as quickly as you can and fire. And there it is, Kerr finally hitting their first three. They're one of eight, and that's the firepower they're going to need to get back in this. One of eight from a team that's the best three-point shooting percentage team in the nation. Laylock trying to get it inside to the grant. And foul is called against Tobin. Well, this really helps Billy Tubbs to be able to go ahead and, and switch those two because Arizona hasn't been able to get anything inside. He can both rest them and keep them out of foul trouble. the three. He is so cool. Bushler out here for Arizona, number 35, along with Kerr and McMillan, Cook and Elliott. Quickly into the hands of Kerr, that cross-court pass. This time he penetrates. They set up Cook. King off with the rebound. Wiley showed his leaping ability in great timing. There's Andre Wiley at the offensive end for the field goal. The 2.30 mark. It is 36-22 Oklahoma. McMillan's three. He bangs one in. Now they run a couple in a row. Two of nine. And just when you think you've accomplished something, Oklahoma puts the ball right back down your throat. Mullins. There's another three for the Sooners. He said he's got some range. Elliott missed fine, back into his hands, and he traveled. That's nine Arizona turnovers in the first half against the Sooners. In a defense like this, not only will they steal it, but they'll force you to hurry throughout the game. Brent, another thing, when you don't run your offense, you're in terrible position to get offensive rebounds, and you can see Arizona's getting nothing off the glass when they miss. Back to the little man to man here. King put it down, and reaching in was Elliott to tie him up, but the possession arrow stays with Oklahoma right now. So they get a fresh 45, and the ball out of bounds at the 137 mark. Coming up at halftime, we'll remind you, Jim Nance and James Brown will be along. They'll review that. Kansas victory here in game one. Brent, it's interesting for the fans to watch players when there's a little break in the action. That time, John Elliott bent over. He was very, very tired. The Oklahoma kids, as I said at the top of the show, have the greatest stamina of any college team I've ever seen, and they're putting it on them now. Well, I'll give you an example. Elliott hit his first five shots. He's now missed his next five. with an offensive rebound and the ball is knocked away as he comes up. Bill Russell was watching the college kids work out the other day and he saw that kind of a block and he said, you know, when I was playing, the guy would only do that one time. The second time he gets an elbow coming across. But a lot of kids are getting good at that in the college game. I'm sure Arizona is shocked at how much zone they're seeing in this game. McMillan, cross to Elliott. Curs three. Being forced to release that jump shot quicker than he wants to. Great job by Elliott to get the ball into Cook's hands and save it for Arizona. Now what Steve Kerr wanted to know is he want just one shot. He looked back at Lute Olsen. Smart thing to do right here. Down 14, you don't want to go any further down. Tremendous first half show by Oklahoma. You had to be impressed the night they took on Louisville because I thought that Denny Crum's team played awfully well that night. Purvis Elson and also Felton Spencer. And Oklahoma simply ground him down. Alley-oop to Elliott. And it won't stay down and there's a foul underneath. Wiley. 
Sensational catch by Elliott, and that's that back screen against the zone on the lob pass. You can see now there's the screen going to be set up. They go right behind the zone. Elliott goes up even over King to make a sensational catch there, but he can't get anything to fall. Brenny's probably missed, what, four or five in a row here on this stretch. Two, Two seconds to go. Billy Tubbs has obviously never been to the Final Four before, although he's had so many outstanding teams at Oklahoma. Two times in the NCAA tournament at Lamar. He's got to be satisfied with his performance so far. What's up, man? What did he say yesterday? He doesn't, the other team can't trick him because my guys don't pay attention anyway. <laughs> Hey, he's dumb like a fox. Oh, you believe really it. Dumb. So I want to tell you that as Lofton returns for Arizona for the last two seconds. And they do not want Sean Elliott to pick up any kind of a foul. Let go! <laughs> well, Arizona hit only three of its last 16 field goals for Lute Olson. And they have fallen behind an impressive Sooner team, 39 to 27. CBS coverage of the NCAA Basketball Championship will continue after this message and a word from your local station. Steve Kerr will take the ball out of bounds and let's see how they do against the constant pressure of the Oklahoma Sooners. Billy Tubbs was so successful in that 1-2-2 two, two half court of defense so he starts out with it. Cook up over the top with a miss, and Elliott with an offensive rebound. Puts in the field goal. That's 14 for Sean Elliott. Breaks a string of six in a row that he missed, and I think he missed because he was a tired warrior at the end of that first half. Into King off the glass. He is so confident. When he catches the ball, he just turns around, and he knows he's going to get something done. Great pass inside from Elliott. Cook didn't put it down. They can't miss those opportunities. Not against this bunch. You see, Tolbert just can't get in front of King. King moves so well with his feet to get position. Keeps that hand high above his head. Grant at the free throw line missing, and Kerr coming away with the rebound for Arizona. Defensive transition prevents the layup on the break. Off Seeger's leg. Again, that great conditioning and quickness from Oklahoma. They, their transition from offense to defense is the best in the country. McMillan's the open man here against this defense, but not for long. Into Tolbert. He comes up over King. That's two field goals for Tolbert in this game. Trailing by 10. The pace of that half-court offense is more to the liking of Arizona. Another travel against Grant off the fake. That's seven turnovers by the Sooners. Watch Billy Tubbs go back to man-to-man -to -man here shortly because that zone has got some holes in it now, and they're nowhere near as aggressive as they were when they came out man-to-man. -man. Here's Kerr. This time right on the three. Grant's defensive rebound. Off quickly to Grace. One for seven in a three-point range for the man that set a new NCAA record. Shooting almost 60% from that area. King double finds the open man, and they swing it to Grant. Good ball movement that time. That second pass was beautiful by Blayla. Tolbert hustles back into position, and he has put two field goals on the scoreboard here in the second half. Oklahoma hasn't turned it up yet, though, Brent. You know, you notice how this game is kind of much slower pace. Just expect them to explode any minute. King on the turnaround. That's 16 points for Stacey King. Mark Klansky of Villanova said he felt like they were at just waiting to erupt at any moment when they played against him. High Grace reaching back in commits his second personal foul as Cook had it. You know, several times for Coach Wilson, Arizona has missed layup opportunities here. Well, they may be thinking of the shot blocking ability of King inside, and Grant's good coming over from the weak side. Give you some trouble on those easy layups. So Cook shooting a pair of free throws now for the Wildcats. 
And earlier this afternoon, Kansas and Danny Mann eliminated Duke. Grace with seven assists, leading Oklahoma right now, and Blaylock has chipped in with five. Great man to man, and again, King's got him on his hip. Just puts you away when he gets to that baseline. They go to trap, knock it out of bounds, Arizona's ball. Now, Brandy, again, the thing that's hurting Arizona, and I'm kind of surprised that it is because they've been so good passing the ball against the trap, is that they're starting this from so close to the end line. This is why all coaches look for speed. Tolbert wants to get something going, but Blaylock doubled. Cook came around and fired the shot, and the foul was called. That's foul number three on Grace. He is the first Sooner, in fact, the first player to hit the three foul mark. Well, you, when you think of Grace and Blaylock in the backcourt, they got beat <laughs> when they were on the same team by San Jacinto. Liddell Eccles, the great player from New Orleans, Harvey and Porter, the two backcourt players that are playing at St. John's. That must have been some contest. Their only loss of the year, San Jacinto went undefeated for the national crown. More and more, there's respect for the fellows who come out of those junior colleges. Last year, you might recall Indiana. Dean Garrett, Keith Smart, both came off the JC campus. Now, we've got Grace Blaylock out here, operating in the backcourt. Seeger misfires. Cook yanks off the miss, and Arizona trying to put together a run and keep it going here. Very intelligent Arizona team. They move it to Tolbert, who hesitated, and that threw off the shot into the hands of Blaylock. He missed fires, and now Elliott comes down. Asking Elliott to do a lot, rebound on one end of the court and still be the offensive threat. Millen, behind Elliott's hands, and again they missed the Tolbert and Cook were there. Now well, maybe the Gumbies will climb into it, and that's what this Wildcat team needs to ignite them. It's 47-38 right now, Oklahoma. King, not this time, Elliott was still another oh. rebound, and Blaylock went after it. But it wound up in Kerr's hands. Tolbert. <laughs> Short, but he was worried about King's shot blocking ability. But he came right back at him. Tubbs has got to be thinking timeout. He needs to get back in that man to man and force his pressure again. Because Arizona has got it going their way right now as far as tempo is concerned. Blaylock gets it to fall. He doesn't mind taking it right inside on you. Only six feet tall. They go for Elliott with that long pass. It's been Cook, Elliott, and now Tolbert. Leading the oh. and Seeger works the baseline and drew the blocking foul. And Brent, there was an example of what Billy Tubbs talked to us about the other day about Seeger. He is not the fastest man on the squad, but he eventually, over 40 minutes, becomes the fastest because he'll beat you down court. And there was his stamina, which showed up on that play. And for Coach Tubbs, Andre Wiley, 32, checks in. Elliott and Tolbert will both take a breather here for Arizona. And McMillan also joins them. So three of the regulars go out now, and we'll set their lineup for you. Lofton is there. Kerr stays. Bushler is back on the floor. And Turner wearing the goggles, number 33. Back in the game is Seeger misses the free throw, and Cook stays out there. Seeger, who set an Oklahoma record with making eight threes in one game. Very valuable player. Sat out one year at Oklahoma. So we've got a TV timeout here in Kansas City. 14, 50 to go, 50-42, Oklahoma up by eight. And a man who changed this game forever, Bill Russell, who led San Francisco to two titles, 55 and 56. This is Bushler, number 35, great volleyball player, and coach down in Tucson area, so familiar with him. In a few years, he may wind up on the United States Olympic volleyball team, which faked that time, rises in the air, and hits the jump shot. 
Whistler known for his defense, showed a little bit there, going inside the zone. That zone developing some holes in it now. Oklahoma needs to regain that momentum that they had in the first half. Arizona has edged back. Oh! Six and Lofton goes up for the steal. Bushler to Turner. Here come the Wildcats. Lofton caught that one on the fly. You very seldom see that. It's like catching flies with your hands, what he just did. Ow, coming off strongly is Turner. Brent, Arizona has decided to double team King down inside, front and back. Billy Tubbs is going to counter by putting Grant back in the game, which will help. They ship it to Lofton. Not what they needed there. Here's Blaylock on the move. And he traveled as he spun around Lofton. He traveled. So Grant, 25 returns and so does Tolbert for Arizona. You gotta figure McMillan will be coming back in the ball game here shortly as well as Elliott. It is down to four as Arizona has put together an 11-3 run over the last three minutes. Lofton and Blaylock showing great ability to time the jump. Grant. Contribute and Steve Kerr gets in with the Coral threes and the Yanks run away and Arizona can pull back to within two. Short. And it lodges up. It'll be a jump ball. That's the ruling. And the possession arrow sends it over. So it goes over to Oklahoma on the possession arrow. Steve Kerr shaking his head, walking back down court. He beat Blaylock on the one and one. Well, Sean Elliott's mother from Tucson, and she has encouraged her son to stay on and complete his work toward his degree. A lot of folks have speculated about him coming out next year, but Sean is almost certain that he'll be back as a senior. Elliott and Tolbert both collapsed on King, and that on Sean Elliott is his first personal foul. Second team foul on Arizona in this half. Two team fouls against Oklahoma. The Sooners' biggest lead in that first half was 14 points for Coach Tubbs, who came to Oklahoma from Lamar. He's put together seven straight seasons of 20-plus wins with the Sooners. And Brent, you saw what happened with Grant coming into the ball game. It prevented Elliott from moving over to double-team on King until he got there a little late. Nice job by Dushman. We'll sit down with Cook returning and King at that free throw line. Yeah. Oklahoma only up by four. I'm really surprised that Billy Tubbs has not turned it up defensively by going back to that man-to-man -man that's really set the tempo in the first half. And he stayed with his zone a long time. Mookie Blaylock knowing where his man is, but out of the side of his eyes there, looking to go back for the steal. Here they are, back to the man-to-man -man now. Trying to front King. We've got that double low post going now. In the, in the turnaround, foul call. He'll shoot two. This was a magnificent play by Sean Elliott. Got around Seeger, came right down the middle against the defense for the jam. Well, Seeger, one of the best defenders going. But you can see Sean Elliott can put that ball on the floor and take it all the way to the hoop. Even with King and his mom shakes her head a little bit. She loved that one. Well, there's a brand new scoreboard here in the Kemper Arena, and it has a huge video screen on all four sides. And she was looking up there appreciating that replay by Bob Dekas and uh, Bob Fishman, our boys who are sending out the video on this national semifinal here from Kansas City. Brent, I did a game one time and thought that screen was the same as what was on our monitor. And I was telling fans down there, you can see it, and it wasn't even the same picture. <laughs> so I haven't done that here. This is a legendary scoreboard for some of the malfunctions in the past. So this is brand new. Off Elliott's hands. Oklahoma's ball at the 12-25 mark. 
Nice job by Seeger again. Even though they threw it over his head, he put Elliott in a position where it was tough to make the catch. Well, the Sooners grew a little fat with that lead. Backed off here, and Arizona has stormed back into this game in the second half. Boy, Grant is really fighting for position. He and King are so tough in the low post. King battling on the turnaround goes to the glass. When he shoots that ball off the glass, Brent, it looks like it has no air in it. You know how it just... There's the pressure. Grace taps it, but Grant slipped, and Lofton runs it down. Otherwise, it would have been another turnover. Going back to man-to-man -man has helped Oklahoma. It just turns up the pressure in the game completely. And to Tolbert's hands, King stays with him, and the foul is called. That's three on King. You see Grant fighting for position inside. Tolbert trying to use that upper thigh as he did early in the game. Grant just fighting for position. Doesn't get the ball, but just good offensive movement. And not bad defense either. Now King asking for a little switch because of the foul problem down there. Grant doesn't have a single foul in the game yet. And King with the three. And that's why he was asking across the lane for the defensive switch. Colbert throws that line a lot and a very good free throw shooter, 82%. Blaylock takes the pass from Grace and drops it on in to King, and here's Seeger. Rotate to Grace on the running hander, and there was a foul underneath. Pushing foul up underneath after the shot goes against Arizona. That's McMillan, and that's his second. Lute Olsen, boy, that was a, that was a possession that he really wanted to have because it was a strong rebound by Tolbert. Tolbert fronting King. King comes way out this time to get the pass. Seeger bangs a miss. Tolbert rebounds. Grant Tolbert plays a full 6'9. You know, they list him at 6'7, but he's about almost 6'9, goes about 235, and it's showing now. Here he is. Spinning on the inside. Cook tries to keep it alive, and Grant comes off for the Sooners. Race to the top, over to Seeger, and this is Blaylock. Ricky Grace bangs a tray. He squares up beautifully on that jump shot of his. Never needs the dribble to get his elevation off the floor, and that's hard to do in that range. And McMillan comes back with a three, and Grant rebounds the miss. You notice Elliott has not touched the ball about four or five times down the floor now. It's important when Arizona gets close to make sure Elliott touches it. Same as Danny Manning in the first game for Kansas. Good defense that time against King. Arizona's ball. Lute Olsen's going to have to make a decision with McMillan, who has not been able to get untracked offensively. They have to get somebody in there that can score. The Oklahoma's giving him the jump shot. Seeger was fronting Elliott, so Kerr fires a three-pointer. And now they are 2 of 14 from the three-point line. We've got a TV timeout here in Kansas City. 9.45 left. The Sooners lead it 58-49. And Arizona will play Oklahoma September 17th. Nice to see you here, Barry Switch. As a matter of fact, the baseball series, Billy, Oklahoma, and Texas, they've called that off this week, too. they got to watch the Sooners in action. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, if Oklahoma were to win this game, be the first time in the history of collegiate sports that a football team and basketball team from the same school had a chance to play for the national championship. Yeah, and Tub said yesterday, and it'll be Barry's fault if we don't get it done. <laughs> <laughs> They have very good comradeship. He said Switzer comes to many of the crackers. Grace firing it up and underneath. 
King was positioning, and that is now four personal fouls on Stacy King, and that could spell a substitution. You yeah, bet. Andre Wiley is up, and he will quickly hustle into the game. Could be a huge play here because King has been the offensive force for that low post play. It puts a lot of pressure on Grant. He's got to be careful of Blaylock coming around from behind. Blaylock hasn't been able to get the steal yet. Cook, Elliott, Kerr, Lofton, and Tolbert on the floor for Coach Olsen. Good fake by Cook. And Tolbert with an offensive rebound muscles up to the glass. Misses again. And a foul on the Sooners. That's number two on Wiley. And that is five team fouls against Oklahoma and only four on Arizona as we look ahead to a possible foul shooting situation. One and one so critical in any close game. Right now it's 58-49. We have 8.45 to go. Elliott off the dribble explodes for the field goal. He's got the great pump fake off the shot, and he has that bounce step of his where he can just elevate himself with a jumper. Very difficult to stop. The Sooners open up that lead, but they could not put Arizona away. Wyatt quickly with the shot, and it was short. Gets it back, and he traveled. It goes over to Arizona. Big difference between Wiley, although he has great leaping ability, and the outstanding play that we saw earlier in the ball game by Stacy King. They're just not the same down in that low post. Got the spin on him. There it was. Coming up with a shot. Bang the drum again for Sean Elliott and foul number three on Seeger. But we're talking about a young man that's six foot nine who's got these great offensive moves as if he's six foot five. He was only 5'11 in junior high, and he told me he's grown like two, three inches a year, and so he's developed his skills as a guard right along with his growth. That's why he's so good with that ball. He attended one of Michael Jordan's camps back in North Carolina. Michael Jordan has nothing but praise for the young man who has now pulled Arizona back to within four. 58-54. Time remains. Grant's trying to get position. Wiley going back after it aggressively, and it was off Elliott's hands. He wanted another sure. foul call in yeah. that situation. And I think he was right, because he had good position, and the reason that ball went out of his hands, he was banged from behind. Wiley takes up a lot of space in there, a good leaper. Wiley's 2 of 5 off the Oklahoma bench in this game. King with the foul problem out. He shot 9 of 16. Oklahoma has not been able to score since King went out with his foul difficulty. There you see the 1-3-1 zone that time by Arizona. And Lofton probably runs the baseline as far as his, his quickness is in, as well as anybody around. Of course, sometimes he gets stuck down in there with rebounding, but he really can't get to the corners. You notice there's the 1-3-1 setup even on the out-of-bounds play. This should allow somebody at the top of the key to get off the three-point shot. I look for Seeger. Playlock drops it in on the inside, and Grant will go for the two. Bob McAdoo puts that ball behind his head. Very West was right. There's the turnover. Playlock now coming to the attack. Gives it up to Grace. And back to the man-to-man -man defense. They get inside to Grant. Can't hit back-to-back -back field goals. Andre Wiley with a great job, and Playlock hits the field goal. Brent, you almost think you have to release Blaylock's man so that he can't hang around under, under that offensive board. He has 85 offensive rebounds this year. Maybe the only way to keep him honest. Steps. That's a 13th turnover by Arizona. And every time Arizona makes a run and gets it down into working margin territory, Oklahoma comes back with a good play inside. Often chasing Blaylock. Seeger over to Grace. Often gambled that time. 
Seeger just roaming around the outside waiting for that three. Tough, aggressive Arizona defense yep. here. They're really playing well on the perimeter. They ship inside to Grant. The fade away. And Lofton comes away. Here's Kerr. You know, Kerr has not come out of this game. Elliott. That's a three. That's 24 points is Sean Elliott. Hits a three here. Seeger comes back with a three and misses. Gets it back. Drives for the deuce. Elliott missing. Grant's rebound. Now Billy Tubbs has got it down to 541. King's been on the bench with four fouls. It's about time to bring him back in. It's really make things tough for Arizona at this point. It's a seven point lead. Oklahoma has shown a nice ability to change the pace a little bit themselves in this game. Grant blocked and it winds up in Oklahoma's hands and Wiley couldn't put it away. And now he's fouled by Kerr. So here in Kansas City, along with Billy Packer, Jim Nance, and James Brown, I'm Brett Musburger. We hope you've enjoyed our national semifinal this afternoon. Kansas beating Duke in the first game. Great second half rally by Mike Krzyzewski's team, but they fall short 66-59. And now on Monday night, the Jayhawks will play the winner of this game. If it's Oklahoma, it would be an all Big 8 final. That conference has had a marvelous year. And of course, if it's Arizona, then the Pac-10 stands very tall and sends someone to the final for the first time since UCLA got there. Under Larry Brown. Well, the Bruins are looking for a coach. Jim Dalvano says that he has backed out. He told our Jim Nance in a telephone call earlier today, don't be surprised if some Larry Brown talk starts before this weekend is over, even though he had one term out there. He's very popular with some folks in the Los Angeles area. Boston missing, and Seeger wraps up the rebound, and now Grace comes to the attack. And Lofton got a hand on it, but Grant gets it back for the Sooners. All the bounces go in Oklahoma's way lately. And that's because of their quickness, and again, that stamina factor. They don't even look tired out here at this point. Foul down on the inside is number four on Tolbert. You know, Grant, it's interesting, too, to talk about Billy Tubbs' program in off-season conditioning, the weightlifting, the constant running. He really doesn't like his players to play too many pickup basketball games because they get into bad habits. And I think he's been very much misunderstood as a coach, very much like Jerry Tarkanian was. Just because they score a lot of points, people think they, they, don't, they don't have a concept. But I think he's, he's really, really a sharp coach. If you go to Norman, Oklahoma, and you're a coach, get a lot of players ready. That's the hottest gymnasium I've ever been in in college basketball. It was warm here in the Kemper this afternoon. And, uh, Billy Tubbs' athletes, they just work and work to stay in condition as Lute Olson has one more conversation with his center who will sit down for a while. So a television break here the 454 mark. Sooners lead it 68-57. He's in great physical condition. I guess if you demand that of your athletes, the least you can do is stay in shape yourself. That was Grace going out after it, and they forced the turnover. Well, even the year that he had the accident, Oklahoma was in the NCAA tournament. Remember, they got knocked off by Bobby Knight. Mike Newell coached that team. McMillan returning for Coach Olson as Bushler sits back down. Side of five minutes now, 68-57. Let's see if Arizona has anything left defensively. They've expended a lot of energy to get this game down to a working margin. First person on that young man. I've got to tell a story about Grant as he moves up to the free throw line. He figured he needed a set of wheels down in Oklahoma. He said, quarterbacks drive cars, I gotta have one. So he calls his twin brother with the Chicago Bulls. He said, Can you lend me some money? Well, his brother said, I'll get you $200 a month and you go ahead and shop for a car. He went shopping for a $50,000 Mercedes. <laughs> he better find like a 20-year contract to buy that car. It's over. Well, Horace learned a little bit in Clemson there in terms of uh, how to use his money wisely. You bet. It's probably not interest-free. No, They're both from Sparta, Georgia. 
Here is his. Oh, he's a hat play king. He shot that one like a Mercedes. He and King are so tough, and, and what amazes me, even with King out of the game, Grant's taken over. Oh, 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 oh. And on the drive. Good no foul call that time. 26 points for Sean Elliott, who has played magnificently here tonight for the Wildcats. Well, Brent, here's where stamina comes in, too, for Kerr. He's not been out of the game yet today. You're asking him to put pressure on Grace full court. I don't think he has enough left to do that. Same way with Elliott. He's been working hard here in the second half. And Wiley still out there with King watching down to the 330 mark. Now Wiley with the jump shot. Well, Billy Tuck said if my second team doesn't get to play that many minutes, but believe me, they can play. They're the toughest team we play in practice every day defensively, and I think he's seeing some of it right here out of Wiley. There'll be no bench clearing by this Oklahoma team. Billy says, if I'm up by 20, I want 30. No lead is ever that safe, especially with a three-point play. I remember last year in the NCAA tournament, he lost a 19-point lead to Iowa. He said, if you're playing well, your biggest lead should be at the end of the game. Curse three, and he brings it down. Big moment. That's his first field goal of the second half. They are 4 of 17 at the perimeter. So that perimeter defense that you spoke about, Oklahoma's had the edge there. They really have. They've taken that big part of Arizona's game away. The nation's best team from the perimeter has not been there today. And Grant just keeps on firing. That's 20 points. You know, at one point in last season, he was leading the Big 8 in rebounding, and his brother was leading the ACC in rebounding. That's never been done before in college basketball. Hook up over Grant. He's had a good game. 14 points. So, Lou Olson will use one of his timeouts here at the 239 mark. He's down by 10. And Billy Tubbs is left with four. The possession arrow in favor of Arizona. They're shooting one and one on that foul in the backcourt by Elliott. His second personal foul. And here you can see Lou Olson going to the foul routine quickly. Now, that's very difficult against this ball club. First of all, they're very quick and hard to foul. But secondly, if you make this move, you're almost committed to go to the three-point shot on the other end of the floor. Down 10, there's still plenty of time to play it solid. They drop back. Let Kerr bring it up this time. Oklahoma goes back to that 2-3 zone. Offensive foul is called against Elliott, number three. Lute Olsen has to be careful on that one. He didn't like the call, but you can't get a technical here. But I think if you're going to go for the three, you've got to get the ball down inside and then pop it back out. Because the perimeter defense by Oklahoma is just sensational. Kerr will put Blaylock up on the line. Well, the commitment here is the old Jim Valvano style that we remember to... Uh, the, brought him to the national championship. Foul immediately, don't let any time go off the clock and hope that they can't can the front ends of those one and ones. McMillan replacing Lofton, who will sit down. The newcomer of the year in the Big Eight, Mookie Blaylock. We, you know, you, we just really have to start considering this tremendous pipeline, the junior college pipeline for coaches that have the nucleus but need that one or two guys just to fit in and make it roll. And we have the potential here of two national championships in a row. Since the arrival of Proposition 48, the JC program has been much more important. It's Kerr, short on the three-pointer, yanked away by Oklahoma's Grant, and the foul against Elliott now is his fourth at the 216 mark. 75-64. Well, obviously, Lou Olson did make that commitment to say with like roughly 2.30 to go, they're going to foul, take time, make sure no time goes off the clock, and look for the threes. It's tough to ask Kerr to be making threes. He's been out there every minute of this game, been dogged all day by Blaylock, and just not shooting it. And that's up to 11. To give you an idea what a great three-point shooter he is, the national record was 53% for guys that tried at least 100. He's going to shoot about 59% on the year, and he's made over 100. He's played 38 minutes here tonight. Elliott has gone 36 against the Sooners, and Cook 35.
No one uh, there in the middle of that bench seems to want to uh, watch a free throw attempt over there. 76 64 at the 210 mark. That's the right thing to do. Take it inside, bring it back out for the three. And McMillan cans it. Very good strategy. His first field goal of the second half. 76 67 with the three point rule. This would not get over. So against the Arizona pressure, Grace gets it over to Grant. And they get it back in the point guard's hands, and McMillan will put him up on the free throw line. But only about, what, eight seconds went off on that possession, so Arizona is just going to take the chance that their threes are going to beat the one-and-one -one shooting of Oklahoma. Arizona has been ranked one, two, or three since back in December. They were favored coming into this game. Already one favorite has been knocked off here in the Kemper Arena. Duke losing to Kansas. You know what's interesting, Grant? In this Final Four, only one team was preseason AP top ten. Kansas. How about that? Oklahoma, Arizona, and Duke were not in the top ten preseason. It's amazing how teams develop. And our buddy Mike Francesca, you know who he picked to win the national championship back in October? He Kansas. Picked the Kansas <laughs> and wrote him off in January. He's one of our, in fact, he is our chief researcher for college basketball. And He's feeling pretty good right now. Cook off a fake now, and Grant comes into him and gets the roll. Now you want to get the ball away from the defense so you don't get fouled here, which was smart by Oklahoma. They lock into Wally's hands, and he drew the foul, and he'll come up to the free throw line. Both teams showing how well coached they are fundamentally. Since Oklahoma sees that they're going to be fouled, they kept the ball moving like a hot potato. Before the defender could get to you, you make the pass. So Wiley gets a nice shot inside. Man can coach. What does wife say, Billy? I think you like me better than basketball. He said that's probably true, but not better than track. <laughs> Fun guy to be around. Elliot with a slick move off the dribble. Oh, what great skill he possesses. You gotta pass the ball before you get fouled, Ricky Grace, and he waited a little too long. So we head toward Monday night, and it appears more and more like the Big Eight will be dominating the proceedings at 9 Eastern time. We'll be here in the Kemper Arena. It will be the Kansas Jayhawks against either Arizona or Oklahoma. 80-71 with 1.13 to go, and Grace now with some important free throws. Then we talk about the great junior college connection. Ricky Grace broke a player's assist record at Midland. Spud Webb not doing a bad job. Did a great job for Jimmy Valvano at NC State and has had a sensational career with the exception of the injuries now that he's gone to the pros. Grace hits them both. It's back to 11 at the 113 mark. Tolbert wants Kerr and they go to McMillan. Forced to penetrate, the three wasn't there and a quick timeout is called. That's Arizona's final timeout at the one minute mark. 82 to 73 and so coach Lute Olson over there will set his strategy now for Arizona. Arizona has not been pressed at all in the tournament. They have blown out all four of their opponents. Only team from the state of Massachusetts ever been in the national championship. That's all you can do. Oh they're going to call it intentional. Oh Lute Olson has to be hot with that because Lofton was going for the ball. Now this is the supreme penalty. Two shots and the ball out of bounds. I don't agree with his call. Now see if he's not going for the ball. He reaches in there to try to make the steal. I don't think any question about that, a good defensive play. So Grace will shoot as Olsen reacts to the sideline, and then they get the ball back. So this could be the crusher. Athletic director, Sid Dempsey of Arizona. A 
prognosticator I'm not, Brent. I said there was no way Kansas could win the game, and Arizona's the team that's going to win it all. So I'm 0 for 2. Into Seeger's hands. Now that could be an intentional grabbing a man from behind. Fifty six seconds to go. Eighty four seventy three. The Sooners of Oklahoma with the lead and Billy Tubbs closing in on his 200th victory at Oklahoma and his 300th and sixth overall in college basketball. He came to the Sooners from Lamar. Winning his percentage rise in Oklahoma history and soon will be the winningest in number of wins. Beating Coach Drake. The man that devised the famous Drake shuffle. Well, Arizona has been beaten only twice this year. New Mexico and Stanford. This would be loss number three as Elliott hits another three-point shot. What a fabulous game. 31 points for Elliott. And McMillan will put Seeger back on the line with 42 seconds to go. And that is the fifth foul on him. Well, Brent, these young fellas that went to Arizona with Lute Olson went there under the the idea that someday they could help build a program and that they have done because although Arizona is not going to be in the championship game Lute Olson has his program in very very solid shape and he has helped to bring back a big rebirth in West Coast Pac-10 basketball in regard to the great season they've had this year. fans in the background still chanting U of A. Very appreciative. They were averaging about 7,000 fans a game before he, went, he got there. Now they sell out everything. Such an empty feeling for a young man like Steve Kerr to get so close. And now with 42 seconds left, you know you're going to be eliminated. It's a really a tough situation for these teams when they when they reach the final four and they walk away feeling so empty handed but really they shouldn't be at Arizona. It, it's been a truly magnificent season down there for the Wildcats and the fans. And Brent, kind of fitting that the Big Eight will play the championship. They were just here a few weeks ago with their Big Eight championship. Well again it will be the third time that Oklahoma has played Kansas. The Sooners have won both times. Each game by eight points. Boy, there is Lofton staying with it. Time running down. You know, Lofton, Billy, is a remarkable story. Number 11. He was raised by a blind grandmother back in East Chicago, Indiana. Rosie Person is her name. And Rosie, if you're listening, you can be awfully proud of number 11, Kenny Lofton. They're not going to get the job done here tonight against Oklahoma. But he's done a fabulous job for you down in Tucson. 18 seconds to go now, 86 78. The Sooners closing in on an appointment against Larry Brown and the Kansas Jayhawks. This place will be rocking on Monday night. Whatever tickets are available, the Kansas fans will certainly be going after it. There'll be more Oklahoma rooters in here as uh, Seeger does a little audition for Switzer's team there. Well, you sh it shows Seeger's intensity for the full 40 minutes. And you know, Stacy King has been out of this ball game, what, for maybe eight minutes when he picked up his fourth foul, and they haven't missed a beat because Grant's been so tough inside. And Andre Wiley contributed some good moments from him, too. Hawkins three would not stay down. Cook goes after it. Arizona's ball. And Oklahoma wins it. They will play Kansas for Billy Tubbs. One side of the story. Now, let's go to James Brown for the other side. All right, Brent, Coach Olson, what do you think was the difference in the ball game tonight? 
Well, I think their inside people really hurt us, and of course we made a few mistakes against the pressure. Uh, we scored a number of times against the pressure, but it seemed like we made some right in that one stretch when we made a great run back after the half and then turned it over twice, and that really hurt us. But they, they did a great job getting the ball inside. I thought we pulled the trigger a little bit too quickly on some shots from the perimeter. We've hit them all year long, so uh, I guess you got to look for them. Coach, a quick ball club, not only up front, but in the backcourt as well. Yeah, they're an, they're an excellent ball club. You know, it's funny when people talk about they don't play defense. They play great defense. We knew that coming in. The better team won, though. There was no question. They were quicker than we were in most of the spots. They were quicker to the offensive board. And uh, second shots, putbacks really hurt us. You didn't think your squad got respect all season. You had a great season, Coach, and congratulations. Well, thanks. I'm very proud of our guys. They've played hard. They've given it their best effort all the time. I think the better team won tonight, though. All right, let's go back to Brent Musburger. All right, James, we're going to be hearing from Coach Tubbs and some of the happy Sooners when we continue. 86-78, Oklahoma goes to the final.